Hi, I'm Eric Horvitz from the Decision Theory Group at Microsoft Research. We've been exploring the use of automated reasoning methods to enhance the human computer interface. In the Lumiere project, we're investigating techniques for inferring the best assistance to provide a software user by continuing to monitor the user's actions and to analyze a user's words. We have built a Lumiere intelligent user interface prototype. At the core of Lumiere are Bayesian methods and models for reasoning under uncertainty that are used to determine the likely intentions, goals, and needs of the user from information about context, events in the interface, and words in a user's query. To build Lumiere, we developed an event language for specifying and filtering high-level events from streams of atomic user interface actions. We developed knowledge bases called Bayesian networks that capture the uncertain relationships among a user's goals, needs, and streams of events over time. And to give a user a way to communicate directly with Lumiere, we developed and integrated into the system a Bayesian analysis of words in a user's query. Finally, we built an overall system architecture that controls all of the interrelated components of Lumiere and allows the system to continue to monitor events, to perform inference, and to track the long-term needs of the user. Let me now demonstrate Lumiere. You go. Lumiere was developed with Excel as its first test bed. Let's open a file in Excel. I'll menu surf to give Lumiere some evidence that I might be confused. Lumiere has reached threshold and offers help. It's determined that performing calculations and changing the chart, chart type are two of the highest likelihood relevant topics to me. Notice the volume control here. System, I could tell the system to bother me more or bother me less, changing the threshold at which it responds to give me help. By not interacting with the automatically generated help UI, the system apologizes and takes away the assistance that it, it has offered. Let's go into the document now and do some operations here. How about a formatting style operation? Let's ask for help. The system now has taken in all the evidence it's seen recently and has generated a new ordering over the relevance of topics. Notice now the topics are, are for providing assistance to the user with such things as formatting a document, changing alignment, working with rows and columns. Let's see what's going on behind the scenes. Lumiere continues to generate probabilities as indicated by this bar graph over the, the relevance of different topics, different help topics that may, may be of assistance to the user. Let's go back to the document again. And let me just pause and let me dwell on a column. That's new evidence to Lumiere. And if we look back at the sorted list and at the new revised probability distribution over help topics, we see now that they're much more focused down on inserting new rows and columns, deleting rows and columns, changing the size and rows of columns, and so on. Let's tell the system with our own words what we really want. I want to make this prettier. The system now will take the words as well as the recent actions, combine them together, and generate a new probability distribution over help topics. Let's look at the revised list. The system now is providing assistance with changing alignment, working with borders, working with fonts, and auto-formatting my document. Let's head back to our main application here. Let's now explore another functionality in Excel. How about putting inserting a chart on this sheet? If I cancel the dialog, I give Lumiere some evidence that I may be confused about charting. Here's the new distribution now. Notice in the, in the list of sorted topics that various charting topics are, are viewed by Lumiere as being relevant to me at this moment. 
defining a custom chart, selecting chart items, changing chart data, formatting a chart. Lumiere also considers who the user is and what the user's background is. It's rightly assumed that I'm a novice with Excel. Let's look at the distribution of topics for an expert user. Here is a revised distribution considering the prior probabilities or likelihoods as well as the events that have just occurred about what chart topics might be relevant to an expert. Notice the topics are now more advanced. Defining a custom chart, adding a chart trend line, adding an overlay chart, customizing the Excel environment. But I'm really a novice, so let, let me tell the system that I'm a novice here. And now in words, let me tell the system what I'd really want to do with charting. I'd really like to graph data from a different application. We'll combine the actions and the words together now and look at our revised distribution and the revised sorted list. Now the system recommends that I may need help with retrieving data from a database, changing chart data, or changing the chart data type. Lumiere also reasons about whether or not a user needs help. Right now, the system is, be believes that I need help with a 51% chance. This is used to control the threshold on autonomous help, as we saw before. By working in the system, I tell the system that I don't need help. However, by pausing, or by being confused about dialog boxes, I raise the probability that I do need help. Let's look at the autonomous help in the system. I'll select and pause on the whole document, telling the system that I may be pausing for introspection about a problem. The system has reached threshold and now offers help on formatting cells and their contents, checking for spelling errors, performing calculations, and other topics related to global selection of of the whole document. By working in the document successfully, I tell the system that I do not need help. This is the Lumiere system. Let me exit Lumiere and note that the system has been tracking my help needs in the background throughout the session and has determined that several help topics would be useful to me in particular, some basic formatting topics. Lumiere has prepared, the, prepared these topics for printing. This demonstration has shown the basic functionality of the current version of Lumiere. In the Lumiere demo, you saw us sharing the advice and reasoning of the Lumiere system with users through traditional user interface conventions. We're also quite interested in how Lumiere's reasoning might be used to make an agent or character more intelligent in a future interface. Let's take a look at how this might work. Lumiere's Lumiere system could share its thresholds with an agent and the agent could basically try to alert a person that it needed help. Of course, it would apologize if the user didn't use its advice. But once in a while, the user might actually say, what do you have to tell me? Tell me what you're thinking. And we might see Lumiere's reasoning in a thought cloud over the agent's head. We also can